How you going everyone? Let's venture into the world of closed circuit television once more. Here we have a pizza man giving the doorbell a ding dong. He has a telepathic connection with his pizza car and realises it's in danger. Will he get there in time to save it? Will the pizza also remain edible? Yeah, nah, yeah, he's nailed it. He looks good on camera, which is bloody rare because most of the time the purpose of CCTV seems to be to capture people making an absolute dick of themselves. You believe the when you put your camera up, you're gonna see baddies doing baddie stuff. But in my experience, nah, not the case. Sean here just gets footage of himself face planting the whiskey shelf in the bottle he owns. And then he also gets footage of staff standing around, looking at him, wondering if they get to go home because of his concussion. I guess I'm asking if CCTV is a worthwhile investment. This person has ended up with footage of a car accident on their camera, which could be helpful to solve a court case in future. But do you really need to see one of the drivers naked and running around for 10 minutes after the accident and entering your house still naked? Do you need that in your life? And finally being apprehended out the front of your house again naked. Is that what you bought security cameras for? Is it? A bunch of you cheeky bastards are probably saying yes, that's exactly why we buy them Aussie man. And we also like to know when a horse and carriage is running around our neighbourhood. Fair enough, I'll raise your horse and carriage in America with a kangaroo chased by a dog down under. I'd argue most of us install cameras so we can see shit like this. <laughs> he loves it. He absolutely loves it. The dog is like, yeah, I'll see what else is out here. The barbecue is rogue. It's going rogue. Whammy. He manages to stop it. Now the ute is going rogue. It wants to catch up with the pizza delivery car at the beginning. And we're back to seeing ourselves look like idiots. Drunkenness CCTV is huge for seeing what we look like shit faced. Aim for the door, you got this via right. No, that's left. That's a pot plant, not an exit. Oi, Alana, don't exit through the pot plant, says her sober friend. You always do this. Good mates will force you through a door when you're legless. But Alana just can't do it. She really wants to pick a fight with the pot plant. Now she wants to talk about work and relationships with her mate for a while. A manager steps out of the CCTV room to go help out. Take the shoe. Take the shoe, Christina, is how the video ends. I assume she's still stuck. Okay, here's one CCTV video of someone doing something good. Yeah! He brings hope to us all. He can't believe it. He concludes that he must be Spider-Man. That's a fair enough conclusion. Overall, CCTV videos are very suspenseful. You get a thrill out of not knowing where it's going and what's going to happen. Will I see injury? Will someone fucking die? Will I see a hero? Will not much happen at all? I think not much is happening in this one, unfortunately. Oh! <laughs>